According to this problem, the cricketer can throw a ball to a maximum horizontal distance of 100 meter. That means the cricketer can throw the ball with speed u at an angle of theta. He can throw the ball to a maximum horizontal distance of 100 meter. This 100 meter is actually the horizontal range and this horizontal distance will be maximum when theta will be equal to 45 degree. And as we know the range will be equal to u square sin 2 theta divided by g. The range will be maximum when theta equal to 45 degree. That means the maximum range will be equal to u square divided by g and sin 2 theta will be equal to 1 because theta equal to 45 degree that means sin 2 into 45 degree that means 2 into 45 degree will be 90 degree and sin 90 degree will be equal to 1 that's why the range will come out u square by g and this one is the maximum range and this value is according to the given problem equal to 100 right now problem is that what is the height above the ground can cricketer throw the same ball and he is throwing the ball now vertical upward with speed u this is the speed u which is the maximum speed with which the cricketer can throw the ball in this situation the height up to which he can send the ball will be h will be equal to u square divided by 2g right from this u square by g equal to 100 that's why uh, u square by 2g will be equal to 100 divided by 2 and it will come out 50 meter right this one is the maximum height up to which the cricketer can throw the same ball in this problem one confusion can arise most of the people can think that we have to calculate the maximum height in this case. The problem is that if the same cricketer will throw the same ball with his complete strength and putting the maximum speed u from his side, then what is the maximum height that can be achieved by the same ball?